Today we are announcing a superseding indictment against five officers of the Russian military intelligence agency known as the GRU, as well as one civilian Russian cyber criminal for their campaign to conduct cyber intrusions. These defendants are responsible for carrying out the series of destructive computer attacks that are commonly referred to as the Whispergate campaign. The defendants also stole and, and leaked the personal data of thousands of Ukrainian civilians, including by posting patient health information and other sensitive private data for sale online and then ta taunting those victims. The United States Department of States is offering a reward of up to $10 million for information on the defendants. Today we are announcing a superseding indictment against five officers of the Russian military intelligence agency known as the GRU, as well as one civilian Russian cyber criminal for their campaign to conduct cyber intrusions. This superseding indictment adds to charges made public in June against the Russian civilian Amin Stagall. These defendants are responsible for carrying out the series of destructive computer attacks that are commonly referred to as the Whispergate campaign. This campaign targeted computers in Ukraine shortly before Russia's invasion of Ukraine in February of 2022. More generally, the indictment alleges conspiracies related to cyber intrusions targeting victims in the United States, in Ukraine, and elsewhere. The Whispergate campaign included the targeting of civilian infrastructure and Ukrainian computer systems wholly unrelated to the military or national defense. That included government agencies responsible for emergency services in Ukraine, the judiciary, food safety, and education. Seeking to sap the morale of the Ukrainian public, the defendants also stole and, and leaked the personal data of thousands of Ukrainian civilians, including by posting patient health information and other sensitive private data for sale online and then ta taunting those victims. They attempted to cover their tracks by pretending to be criminals engaged in ransomware attacks, leaving behind ransom notes demanding Bitcoin payments to return data from victim systems, data the perpetrators knew had already been destroyed and could not be recovered. And Stigall's involvement illustrates the Russian government's continued willingness to provide a haven for cyber criminals in exchange for such criminals being, quote, on call to provide support and deniability for its military and intelligence services. These conspirators did not limit their activities to Ukraine. They targeted computers around the world uh, and used computer infrastructures of an unwitting U.S.-based company to conduct the white, uh, the Whispergate attacks. They went on to target computer systems in other nations, supporting Ukraine in its fight for survival. Ultimately, their targets included computer systems in 26 NATO partners, including the United States. The United States Department of States is offering a reward of up to $10 million for information on the defendants. Over a dozen of our domestic and foreign partners have issued a joint cybersecurity advisory regarding this group's activities. And Estonia has announced criminal charges against several individuals involved in the same hacking activity, including two of the same defendants charged here today. The Department of Justice stands united with our partners and our allies in supporting the Ukrainian people in the wake of Russia's invasion of their country. Mm -hmm.